Okay, so if you want people to engage with your content, you're probably thinking, man, how can I get those open rates up, right? How can I get my engagement metrics up? I want to have people opening my emails so my e-commerce store is making more money. So what can I do? What subject lines are like the magic thing? So I'm here to tell you what you actually want to do is make that stuff irrelevant, right? You don't want to worry about like what emoji uh, is going to be the thing that really does it or what's that secret formula for the subject line? Like, are those helpful? Are they tactics that can help you improve things? Definitely. But are they what you want to be focusing on at first? Definitely not. So I'm going to get into that in just a second. First of all, I'm Adam with Oasis Optimization. If you would like help or you have questions about your email marketing, about your e-commerce email marketing, you can get in touch with me at oasisoptimization.com. Now, what I want to talk about uh, is what I mentioned, of course. You know, one of the things that commonly comes up is how can I, um, you know, craft a subject line? Uh, you know, I need to get people more engaged with my email, so I'm going to focus on the subject line or the emoji to include or this or that. And a lot of times what it comes down to is making emails more about and for your audience, right? You want this stuff to become irrelevant by stuff. I mean, subject clients, things like that, the little tactics that are helpful and can help you in the long term once you establish uh, the baseline. And, and what I mean by baseline is making people want to open your emails. When people see your emails, if they don't like what you send on a regular basis, there is no subject line that's going to make you a winner in their eyes. There is no emoji that is going to you know, win the day and turn things around. That's why you want to consistently be sending them quality content. And this doesn't mean that you have to send long emails or that you can't send promotional emails, but having a mix and always thinking about it from their point of view, right? You don't want to just be talking about your product or your service. Be like me sitting here telling you about how I got 463% increase on an abandoned cart series, which I did, but you don't care about that and it doesn't matter, right? What you want to hear is a way that you can increase your results with email. And this one today is, again, considering a, uh, a, from their point of view and really just thinking, putting your emails through that filter uh, and being like, hey, if I'm sending out just promotional emails, that's a common one, right? Okay, maybe we need to put some content in there so that we're providing some value in there too. I mean, I like getting emails. I like getting promotional emails, discount emails, things like that. But if that's all I ever get from a brand, it gets pretty old pretty quick. And once that starts to go downhill, again, there's no subject line that's going to turn that around, right? You've got to actually be kind of writing and sending some good, valuable content. So just keep that in mind as you're writing. This doesn't, of course, mean that you, like I said, you can't send promo emails or you can't do this or can't do that. But what you want to get away from is thinking, okay, well, how can we you know, optimize the subject line? How can we use this or that emoji or this uh, thing? Just consider the emails as a whole. Once you have that going, sure, go for it. You know, really start uh, playing around with your subject line. See what people are responding to. But if you don't have that baseline of good content, all this other stuff isn't going to matter. All right. If you have any questions, comments about this, by all means, uh, leave a comment on the video. Of course, if you want to get in touch with me, you can find out more at oasisoptimization.com.